What is going on everyone? Welcome to Classy Tacos. So today we're going to be upgrading our bump stops again. I know I recently did it, but Sumo Springs just came out with their front set of bump stops for the Tacoma. So I'm like, I'm, I'm ready. These are pretty dope. They're going to go into the same spot and these should even be better at kind of soaking up any hits that you get off road or daily driving. So it's going to kind of almost be just better. It's going to soak up the bumps better than what I have in there right now. So I'm excited to get these in. So in the package, you're going to get both of the stops. You also get some mounting hardware. Uh, for us, these should just kind of thread in. So I'm not sure we're going to use these. There might be some different options where you could use these, but I think we're not going to use them. Uh, you're going to get instructions on how to put them in. You're also going to get, you know, stickers, which is pretty cool. And you get... So nice little thank you with the money 30 day money back guarantee so it shouldn't be too difficult i'm gonna try to get them in without removing the tires i'm gonna go try to go the easy way first because i'm gonna rush today so i'm gonna get these in real quick got a trail ride coming up so i want to make sure to have them in before so i can test them before and after let me get that in let's get you in the wheel well real quick and we'll get these on so this is super similar to the last time we did it i know this is a 14. sometimes it gets a little tricky to get it up in there you just gotta try to fit it in there we go and really, all I want to do right now is just break them loose real quick. I'm going to put the adapter that came from Dirt King here. The little extension is on. And then also, I'm going to put a little bit of blue Loctite. It's more than a little bit, but you get the, you get the gist that came with them. And then we're just slowly... We really just want to make sure we get the thread in there right because what we don't want to do is just cross thread it. Hey, I just wanted to stop here and do a little heads up. I had a problem kind of screwing mine in. I was trying to figure out what it was. Now, apparently, I had so much like dirt was caked on inside on those threads that it wasn't letting it actually screw all the way in. I was getting stuck kind of halfway through where I needed to screw in. So I ended up having to remove... Uh, the bolt here and then I took like I have like a little pick tool that I got in there and was able to clean all of the uh, Threads in there and then that finally allowed the bolt to go all the way up But it took me a little bit to figure out what was going on So just be aware if you actually go off-road It's that's gonna just be caked with dirt and it might not let the bolt actually screw in Then also just in case you're wondering that was the bolt that was holding the old uh, bump stops in so I know it works and I know it goes in but that's what I used to figure out what was going on and how to clean it So using that bolt really helped out to make sure I can get this in and then right here just kind of taking my time I don't want to cross thread it So mine after a couple turns it was pretty difficult to get it all the way and I wanted to make sure that we're really in there tight So an old oil filter wrench worked out perfect for me well, that's how it's done. Uh, I had a little bit of debris up in here. So once I I took this little tool and I got some of that dirt out, uh, went right in. But you can see how much lower they are and how quicker they're going to hit. So. All right, guys, just like that, it's a wrap. The old ones are sitting here. New ones are on. The whole thing took about 10 minutes. Um, I didn't have to take off my lower control arms, didn't have to take my wheels off, I just turned them side to side, got everything done. Uh, one little trick if you have a hard time at the end, uh, just making sure it's nice and tight. I have this like old, I think it's an old uh, oil filter wrench. This worked really well to get in there nice and squeeze it, so it worked out well. I did get a little footage of here in the neighborhood, hopefully I get some more footage like when I go off road and actually see them hit, so I don't think they hit here. So. But hey, thanks for watching. If you need anything, let me know. Drop it down below. I'll have the links to everything. You guys stay safe out there.